Hello everyone, welcome to Afro News South Africa. If you are coming across our channel for the first time, you are very much welcome. Please kindly subscribe to our channel and share our videos. If you are a returning subscriber, we very much appreciate. Hit on the notification bell to get the latest videos. Thank you. The battle to wrestle the soul of the ANC looks set to continue in 2022 with some sections of the Umkonto, with Siswe soldiers already making their intentions to President Siri Ramaphosa clear. In 2021 was dominated by the squabbles between the ANC leadership and both the disband MKMVA and the other MK operatives on a wide variety of issues. The latter is led by controversial former SANTF intelligence general Maumela Mojo who has sent plenty of documents to the ANC leadership outlining how the party needs to renew itself and reposition itself in society. Maomela Mojo, who is a tough talker, has reportedly lobbied his fellow ex-combatants of MK to increase the pressure on Ramaphosa to resign because the country is seemingly burning in his wake, citing the recent burning of parliamentary house in Cape Town. The group, which is believed to be mainly comprised of former President Jacob Zuma's allies, has also identified some of the problems the ANC faces and believes the ANC need to be led by comrades who have struggled credentials. The country is burning as such, Ramaphosa must go and there is no general aid rally that is more important than the country, the group said in a report. Moreover, it added that the National Executive Committee, which is the highest decision-making body between conferences, ought to be comprised of members who are selected from provinces not at elective conferences because some of the more than 5,000 delegates who attend conferences don't go there to discharge their responsibilities, which is why they are easily bribed. It becomes clearer by the day that Ramaphosa has plenty of political enemies who are bearing fangs at him and working tirelessly to ensure he is not re-elected at the conference in December.